everybody and welcome to the next Starbuck tutorial. Today we're going to be teaching you how you can uh, do combat with your ships, fly them around, navigation control, teleporting, and that sort of thing. So I'm going to press H and toggle back on my HUD and I'm going to come around the back here, turn the build mask on, and cycle through until I find the warp drive or the warp engine. Uh, so I'm going to place this down. Right now it doesn't have any power, but once I grab a floor conduit or under the objects tab there is a 3d conduit which you can use to connect things uh, as long as it is linked up to a console and a power core it'll be given power and the console will also be given the functionality of the object so here we have some 3d conduit this is found under the objects tab and we're actually gonna just demonstrate this real quick and connect it over to the floor conduit and now you can see our telepad is enabled so if we come in here and we cycle on over you can see that we have telepad control if we press the number two, we can select the ship. So we're going to say the M25 Tactical, which is a ship right next door to us. And we're going to hit E to activate it. Oh, <laughs> see ya, Mike. See ya. <laughs> the bot's still trying to follow you. So if I press E to pilot the ship again, I can uh, use A and D to turn the nose of my ship, W to accelerate, S to decelerate, and I can use the mouse to pitch and roll my ship. If I don't like these, I can hit escape, Go to alternate flight controls, select on, go back in, and now A and D rolls the ship while the mouse pitches and turns it. So located in the bottom right corner, you see the name of your ship, the speed that you're traveling at, obviously this goes up and down as you move, uh, and your warp speed percentage. To do your warp speed, you have to have that warp engine that I previously hooked up in your ship. It has to be connected to your console and the power core. And once you hit 90% energy, you can press the space bar, and you will zoom away and you'll slowly charge it up the longer you hold space. If you release space, it'll stop exactly where it is. So we're traveling at 40% warp now, which is 41 kilometers per second. So we're going to turn around and we're going to head back to Mike. We're going to slow down our warp speed a little bit. Uh, and as you can see, our energy went down to zero and now it's slowly coming back up. Our strength is also displayed there. This goes lower when people collide into your ship, you collide into other ships, people shoot your ship, you shoot your own ship things like that so as you can see there are two little red targets indicated uh, this applies to Mike is one of them if I press if I aim at him and I press T it'll display a little indicator so Mike 191 kilometers away so right now I'm traveling at 101 meters per second this is the max I can do without uh, warp speed and I'm gonna hit escape and just let my my ship keep autopiloting and traveling at this uh, the speed this momentum and I'm gonna scroll through and go to my navigation control here I press E, I say let's go to Mike, and it sets up for it 186 kilometers away and it zooms me up into warp speed because I had enough energy, I had above 90%. I start to fly at him, I overshoot, I recalibrate, I'm now 40 kilometers away about, uh, and realigns, I come in a little bit slower this time, I'll still overshoot, and... I saw that. Yeah, it's, it's actually a nice feature just because it, it makes it not as broken, just being able to just zip right to people. So here we're eight kilometers away, overshoot. There are some inaccuracies. It'll be fleshed out. And yeah. here we are, the M25 Tactical. We're zero kilometers away. We'll slowly come up on it. We're probably traveling at about 101 uh, meters per second right now. And we'll slow down about now. You've arrived at your destination. So we're back at Mike. So real quick I'm gonna go teleport over to Mike just to demonstrate that one more time. We already have him selected. We'll press E, hop on the teleporter, and as long as you get to it before the blue glowing stops, you will teleport over. So we've snuck on board Mike's ship and if we hold down left click we can charge our laser. He'll never know. And uh, we can shoot him. Death to you. <laughs> if you hold down control you can also crouch you saw him do that. that. Absolutely would never expect it. Uh, you can talk to NPCs by pressing E. They'll tell you a quick tool tip. They'll, uh, the first time you talk to them, they'll tell you some basic stuff about the game. So it's kind of like a mini tutorial. You can have them follow, roam, sleep, stuff like that. So if you hit options, you can go and hit controls, and you can get a little quick detailed look at uh, the different helpful commands and certain things that you'll need to know for the game if you ever get confused or lost or you don't remember. If a ship that you're on is damaged, you can always go over to a power core. This one's at 98%, so it's basically full. But if you hit E, you'll repair it. And same goes for bots. If you shoot them too much, they'll attack. You can blow them up. 
and you can hold R to repair them. Brings it back to life, and you can hold E to search them. Obviously, that didn't get all the way up. It's only about a 40%, 50%. But uh, they'll come back to life when you hit 100%. The first time that you spawn a ship in on a space station, if you can't get on board it for some reason, if it's a little too high off the ground for you or something, you can always go over to the nearest telepad control and just teleport right to it. If you find yourself falling off your ship and you want to get back on board, you can hold down equals for 5 seconds and you'll be respawned back on. One quick other thing is if you go to spawn on a ship, uh, you can actually change the color of any ship, even one you've made or one that was pre-created. If you do buy a pre-created ship, you are given your own copy, and as you can see, it'll say buy free because you are now the owner of it. So as you can see here, it says hull color import. This will import the exact type of hull color that was previously given to the ship, but if you change it, you can choose a different color that it'll spawn in with. So we're going to make somewhat of a yellow, and we'll get a 100 circuit fee for a repaint, but we're going to spawn in the SEM25 tactical. There we go. And as you can see, it's kind of a peanut brown. So if we go on over to here, we'll hit telepad control, ignore the menacing ship in the background, and go to my M25 tactical, press E. And on board, I'll give you a quick demonstration of the different weapons. So here we have torpedoes. Uh, these will fire a very strong but very costly attack. Here we have zappers. These are more of a, a homing attack. They'll pick any target that you've targeted with T by pointing at them when flying. And as, as long as you hold down left click and you have enough energy, it'll zap right to them. It doesn't do an obscene amount of damage, but having a few of them in numbers is definitely going to melt someone's ship down. But it'll also melt down your energy reserves. Using zappers and targeting a player is definitely also a great way to kill them. It takes about one second. And then lastly, we have laser cannons right here. These actually use a very small amount of energy when they shoot, but they do a decent amount of damage as long as you can land it on a different ship. To get these to work, all you have to do is hook them up with conduit and connect them to a power core and a console. And while you're flying, you can press P once again to go into third person, and you can target a ship. Oh! So when I press E to pilot the ship, I can actually target different people. I can target Mike or his skipper, and I'm going to target Mike. And if you press middle click in, you can cycle through your weapons, also shown right above the GUI in the bottom right corner. So we're going to fire those rockets I was talking about. Now that's a big hit. The blue meter is actually Mike's health. The red meter is his ship, so as you can see, the red has gone down a bit more. Uh, and these are the traditional lasers, which we will fire. And he's managing to outrun them. So instead, we will turn to our zappers, and we'll just melt them down. Once you've done enough damage to a player or their ship, they will explode and die. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. The difference between firing while you're in helm control and using the actual weapons control menu on the console is you can press T to target a certain person in particular, and you can actually fire your weapons from here. Once again, I would like to thank everybody for watching, and I hope you enjoy playing Starbucket. Hopefully this tutorial is going to help you get right on your way. How dastardly. I'm getting off before this thing blows up.